Hi, everybody. Happy Election Day. Today is the day that everybody should be getting out to vote. And this is a special year that we're actually voting for a president. So I am going to read this book about the U.S. presidency. Let's find out all about the president. It is a 3.8 accelerated reading level book. Here we go. The U.S. presidency. The president is a leader. The president of the United States leads the country. President Franklin D. Roosevelt was a strong leader in hard times. In the 1930s, millions of people did not have jobs. Roosevelt came up with new laws to help people. His leadership helped the country get through hard times. This is Roosevelt. President Roosevelt started the Civilian Conservation Corps in 1933. More than 3 million men worked for the CCC. That's pretty cool. Parts of the government. Constitution, and under the Constitution, we have the judicial branch, executive branch, and the legislative branch. The U.S. government has three parts. The legislative branch writes and passes new laws. The judicial branch explains the laws. The president is in charge of the executive branch. This branch of the U.S. government makes sure laws are being followed. The president is the leader of the country. Presidents sign bills into laws. They also suggest new bills to Congress. Presidents make agreements with other countries. They are in charge of the military. They also help choose judges and other government officials. Presidents use special pens to sign their bills. They give the pen to people who helped pass the bill. Who can be a president? Candidates for president must meet certain requirements. They must be at least 35 years old when they take office. They must be born in the United States or born to U.S. citizens. Presidents must have lived in the United States for at least 14 years. Here is four former presidents. They are Jimmy Carter, George H.W. Bush, William Clinton, and Gerald Ford. How we elect a president. Americans vote for presidents every four years. Citizens must be 18 years old to vote. A president serves a term that lasts four years. A president can be elected to serve only two terms for a total of eight years. Fun fact, in 1789, leaders from each state elected the first president, George Washington. The president's house. The White House is the president's home and office. Presidents and their families live in the White House. Presidents and their staff work in the West Wing of the White House. The president works in the Oval Office. Fun fact, President John Quincy Adams owned a pet alligator that he kept in the White House. Wow. President's, a president's day. The president works long days. They read notes and make phone calls in the Oval Office. Presidents hold meetings with other staff. Presidents give speeches and go to important events. They meet with members of Congress. Presidents meet with leaders from other countries. The president's cabinet. The president chooses people to help them. They are part of the president's cabinet. Fifteen men and women make up the cabinet. These members lead important government offices. They give presidents advice about running the country. Fun fact, cabinet members sit around an oval table. Presidents always sit in the middle on the table's east side. Amazing but true, President Abraham Lincoln's famous beard was the idea of a young girl. In a letter, an 11-year-old girl named Grace Bedell told Lincoln, he would look better with a beard. Lincoln liked Grace's idea, and he grew a beard. Lincoln kept his beard for the rest of his life. Hands on, write to the president. You, did you know that you could write a letter to the president? This is how you do it. 
What would you like the president to do for the country? Tell the president in a letter, follow these steps to write a letter to the president. What you will need, paper, pencil, envelope, and a stamp. What you do to begin the letter with a greeting, dear Mr. President. Write down your ideas for the president. Tell the president about your family, school, and city. Number three, use thank you or sincerely to end your letter. Number four, sign the letter with your name, age, and address. Number five, place the letter in an envelope. Number six, put a postage stamp on the top right corner of the envelope. And number seven, mail the letter to the president at the White House at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, Northwest Washington, D.C. 20500. You can pause this video if you want to write a letter. The end.